That's right, guys. It's the big one. The annual buy one, get one free. Yes. Let's do it. Yes. <laughs> Alright guys, let's do it. As you know, if you are a long-time viewer of my channel or if you are a Aussie home media collector, at this time every single year JB Hi-Fi do their annual buy one, get one free sale on Blu-ray and 4K discs. And of course, ever since Amazon Australia has come into the mix, they've also been chipping into the sale as well. Now with JB Hi-Fi, it's the entire range of Blu-rays and 4Ks. Amazon offers a somewhat limited selection. I think there's about a thousand titles, maybe a little bit over a thousand titles in their selection but they're essentially getting into this deal to undercut JB Hi-Fi and in some instances actually there are better deals on Amazon than at JB Hi-Fi so I kind of weighed up the deals on both and got the best from each of course I wanted to support JB Hi-Fi I want to support the brick and mortar stores the local company over the big conglomerate that is Amazon but if I could save you know ten dollars here and five dollars here on a couple of Amazon orders I was definitely gonna do that because that means I can get more titles in in the long run. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over the hauls that myself and old mate Rick did over the last couple of days at JB Hi-Fi, massive stack there, and at Amazon, a very a smaller stack there. Now basically, it works this way, you buy two Blu-rays, you buy one, you get the second one for free, and it has to be one of equal or lesser value. The If you buy one that is cheaper than the other one, you're gonna get the cheaper one for free, essentially. So really, if you go and you wanna buy like a whole bunch of stuff like we did, I think we ended up picking up what was that 44 uh, individual blu-ray sets and as as a total we went up with 51 movies so we got a couple of our blu-ray collections in there as well so if you're gonna go and you're gonna buy like 40 50 a lot of stuff the best way to do it is in individual piles. So you match discs with discs that are of equal value so that you buy a $15 one and you get a $15 one for free and you don't buy a $15 one and a $10 one and get the $10 one for free. You, you maximize your savings and you get the most out of your money. So if you're throwing in a bunch of like $5 ones, $10 ones and $20 ones, you're gonna get all the $5 ones for free. It makes sense, so you gotta make sure you bundle them up, take them up to the counter or just place all these different orders online to maximize those savings. Now we're gonna go through these. I think we are going to start with the uh, lot from Amazon because uh, that's the smaller lot right there. Now we picked up a lot of 4Ks. Oh gosh, there goes one already. Um, we picked up a lot of 4Ks and we picked up a lot of uh, Blu-rays as well, but mostly 4Ks for this time around. So we're gonna empty this Amazon lot. I'm gonna be very careful. There's a whole lot of stuff in there. Now the only stuff we bought on Amazon was stuff that was actually cheaper than JB Hi-Fi. So like, as I said, if I can stand to save $5 here, $10 there. I'm gonna do that, it means I can get more discs for the same amount of money in the long run. So let's dive into these ones first of all. All right, so we got a stack of 4K discs from Amazon. Now these were all at the $25 price range, whereas at JB Hi-Fi they were anywhere between $30 to $35. So on each hand here, we saved like five to ten dollars. So in, in total, if we bought all of these from Am uh, from JB Hi-Fi, we probably would have spent an extra, what, 40 or 50 dollars worth on this lot here. So we bought them on Amazon. So I'm just gonna go through these one by one. We placed this order all together. So we essentially bought, you know, four for 25 dollars and got the other four for 25 dollars. So we're gonna start off with, in no particular order, once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Saw this one at the cinemas last year, absolutely loved it. Watched it again last night, loved it even more. This movie just absolutely holds up. It is a masterpiece, this is like Tarantino's, but I just love this movie so, so much. We picked up Maleficent, Mistress of Evil in 4K. Now, as you know, if you view my channel, um, I've got great contacts over at Disney in the US who send me uh, review copies of all the new release movies. Um, I did request a 4K of Maleficent, but something happened, I think it was over like the Christmas holidays, Wires got mixed and I, I only wound up with the Blu-ray copy of that. So I've been happy enough to go and pick up a, a, a 4K copy as well. Now you may be thinking, you got it for free though, Dave. But I don't really like to think of it like that. I don't like to think of it as if I bought one for 25 and got one for free. I, I, you kind of look at this at like a 50% off sale. So essentially you've paid like 12 bucks 50 for each title. I think that's pretty good. Next up, we picked up Joker. Finally, this is one I've been wanting to get my hands on for ages. Saw this in cinemas last year as well. Absolutely loved it. 
I'm probably going to be watching this one again tonight. I wanted to get the Steelbook when it first came out, but it sold out so quickly within days. So, so glad to get Joker in the collection finally. And of course, picked up Doctor Sleep. This is, of course, the sequel to The Shining. Shining is one of my favourite movies of all time. Haven't seen the sequel just yet. I was overseas when it came out. We just we just couldn't find time to go and see it. So Doctor Sleep finally in the collection. I'm very excited to get into that. I've heard really, really great things about it. Next up, Fast and Furious Hobbs and Shaw. This is, of course, the Fast and Furious spin-off film, what the ninth film in the Fast and Furious franchise. We've got all of these movies, but I think we've only ever watched the first two, maybe the first three. Every time that we go we sit down and we're like, alright, we're gonna smash out all the Fast and Furious movies, we only get up to like the second or third one, and then for some reason just completely forget about it. I don't know why, maybe it's because the third one and the second one really aren't good, but I'm just dying to get into the rest of the series because apparently it's fantastic. So we finally got all nine and I think we're actually going to make an effort finally to sit through all of them and watch it. I'm very excited to check that one out in 4K. We also picked up Ad Astra. Can't wait to see this. Of course, Brad Pitt, sci-fi, uh, mystery kind of thriller thing. Don't really know too much about it. I've, I've luckily enough been able to avoid the, the spoilers from film Twitter out there. I know they spoil everything for everybody, but I'm very excited to get into that one. Again, one that I just didn't get around to seeing at the cinemas. Uh, this one I was like 30, actually I think this one was only 30 at JB, picked up for 25 on Amazon or 12.50 as you were. Finally got Knives Out as well. Oh, I'm so, so excited for this one right here. The Ryan Johnson film, got a great cast. Chris Evans, Daniel Craig, uh, Jamie Lee Curtis, Michael Shannon, Don Johnson, Tony Khaled, Catherine Langford, Christopher Plummer, awesome cast. Okay, who done it? Agatha Christie kind of murder mystery thing. I've heard nothing but good things about this. I love Ryan Johnson. I loved his work in the last Last Jedi. I should be careful about saying that because there's going to be people who turn the video off, but whatever. I can't wait to check that one out right there. And finally from that Amazon 4K haul is Jumanji The Next Level. This is of course the third Jumanji film. This is actually the newest out of the lot, I believe, out of anything that we've got. It only came out maybe three, maybe four weeks ago um, and I was just very surprised to find this in the $25 range on Amazon. Um, I love Jumanji, the first one. I grew up watching that, the Robin Williams film. Absolutely fantastic. I really enjoyed the second one. I thought The Rock and Jack Black even Ke Ke Kevin Hart, who I'm not always a huge fan of, I thought was fun and the second one. Karen Gillan I just absolutely love as well. So I think I have maybe the high hopes for this one but I'm looking forward to seeing. I think it'll be a good fun time. Yeah really looking forward to that one. So they're the 4Ks from Amazon and we've also got a very small pile of Blu-rays here as well. Now I believe these all came in at the $15 range as well. So essentially we paid like $7.50 each for these movies. I thought it was a really good deal as well. So first up we've got Late Night with Emma Thompson and Mindy Kaling. Don't know too much about this but it's got really great reviews and everyone one that I know who has seen it has actually said it's actually really good and very very funny. I like both of them. Emma Thompson is always fun in just almost everything she does, especially when she does a good quirky little comedy and Mindy Kaling is absolutely hilarious. Her writing is fantastic. Next up is Hustlers. This is one I actually did see in the cinemas and I really enjoyed this. I didn't think it was like maybe as great as everyone was making it out to be. Everyone was calling for JLo to win an Oscar or be nominated. That was never gonna happen but I thought it was good fun. It was an enjoyable movie and like a, a true story, just completely baffling, baffling true story. And um, old mate Rick hasn't seen that, so he picked that one up. And look, at, I'm actually looking forward to revisiting that one because it is, it is a bit of a, a fun, enjoyable film. For the story, I watch it for the story, guys. Come on. Get your head out of the gutter. Next up, we have got Annabelle Creation. This is what, the third Annabelle film and like the sixth in the Conjuring series. I don't know, I've lost count of them all now. But I have enjoyed all the Conjuring movies so far, except The Nun, which I thought was just complete trash. Um, but I've enjoyed the first two Annabelle films. I especially liked, what was the first one? Annabelle Creation. Enjoyed that one. Annabelle Comes Home, I'm looking forward to. I don't know, I haven't heard really much about this. I know that um, the Conjuring films, or especially like the spin-off films, huge horror buffs don't really like them because they're not great horror. But that's fine, I don't really like horror that much anyway. I either like a psychological horror or like just a really cheap just easy, mild horror that's not going to get me too scared or too or too grossed out. So something like Annabelle Comes Home is like perfect for me. Something's going to creep me out and just uh, be a little bit enjoyable. That said though, this next one I think is one that I'm going to have to work myself up for quite a while to see. It's rated R18+. 
Um, it goes for, I think it's two and a half hours, but there's a three hour director's cut on there, which is insane. And apparently it's, it's quite full on, but apparently very, very good as well. Um, so I'm looking forward to seeing it, but I don't know how long it's actually going to take me to see it. It is, of course, Midsummer or Midsummer. I'm not too sure how it's pronounced. It's, uh, the, this one right here with Florence Pugh. A24 film directed by Ari Aster. I've heard nothing but good things about this, and I'm dying to see it. I was very, very happy to see this in the $15 range, so I get it for $12.50. One that's been on my radar for quite a while, so look, I'll, I'll try and get to this as soon as possible because I'm dying to see it, but I think I'm going to be a little bit of a chicken, so... Yeah. So that's it there. That is all the titles we picked up from Amazon Australia. There's eight 4K titles and four Blu-ray titles right there. I think we probably only spent about, what's that, probably about $130 all up right there. Um, I think that's really good, especially when like the Blu-rays go for like $25, $30 when they first come out. The 4Ks are anywhere from like $35 to $45. So we saved quite a lot by waiting out on all this stuff and buying them in a big sale. You're probably saying, Dave, you didn't save anything. You spent money. You spent a lot of money we did spend a lot of money but I kind of we look at it this way we don't buy movies when they're brand new it's very rare for me to buy a, a brand new movie especially when I can pick it up in a sale a couple of months down the line um, so this kind of thing we will wait like six months between big hauls and then when there is a big sale like this we'll, we'll happily spend like four five hundred dollars because these are movies that we want in the collection, we will watch, and we would have bought at some point anyway. And to save like essentially 50, 60, 70% off in some cases, we're happy to just wait and just do a massive splurge and then not splurge again for like six months. With that said, let's get into the JB Hi-Fi haul right here. This is the big one. I believe there's like 32 titles in here. Um, these ones here, we'll start off with the, uh, the Blu-rays that we picked up from uh, JB Hi-Fi. There's uh, another one there as well. Uh, so they're all the Blu-rays that we picked up and then the rest of them are all 4Ks which I'm so excited to dive into. So again different price points on a lot of these I'll walk you through as we as we go along. All right first up this one is the most expensive Blu-ray that I bought of the lot. I actually paired this one. This is a, a $25 price pointed Blu-ray. I paired this one up with a $25 4K which we'll look at soon um, because there was no other 4K at $25 that I wanted and I really wanted this movie and I was happy to pay $12.50 to see it as soon as possible. It's a release from Madman Entertainment, who is a, a local um, uh, boutique, sort of independent label, and their stuff doesn't often go on sale. So I was happy to pay $12.50 for that. It is, of course, Parasite, the Academy Award winning film, best picture from uh, last year, or this year's Academy, Academy Award ceremony. I'm dying to see it, haven't seen it yet. I've heard nothing but good things about this, and um, I'm so excited to see this. Again, paired that with a $25 4K, and uh, we will see that one soon. Uh, these two right here were at the $20 price range, and it is Abominable DreamWorks. This is, um, no, I was gonna say it's the only animated title I picked up, but it's certainly not the only animated title I picked up. Um, but this finally, completes my DreamWorks collection. If you've been watching my channel recently, my Blu-ray hauls and stuff recently, you know I've been on, on a, a, I've been on a quest to get all these back catalogue animated tiles I've never picked up over the years. I've got all the DreamWorks ones in my collections except for Abominable. So finally, that one uh, finishes that collection right there. And I paired that one up with Judy. This is uh, uh, Renee Zellweger, of course, playing Judy Garland, who's one of my favourites of all time. Of course, The Wizard of Oz is my favourite movie ever. So I've had like this special connection with Judy Garland my whole life. I'm, I'm just dying to check out this movie. She won the Academy Award for this as well and uh, I'm just so excited. So those two right there were 20 bucks each. Uh, so $20 for one and then free for the other or 10 bucks each if you want to look at it like that. Next up, we have got a lot of $16 price pointed titles. So these essentially came to about $8 or like $7.98 or something each. Uh, we'll start with this one right here, Mo Better Blues. Denzel Washington, Spike Lee. It is of course a Spike Lee film or a Spike Lee joint as he would call it. Um, I, I really enjoy Spike Lee movies. I haven't watched too many of them. I've seen more of his more recent films, but I haven't seen a lot of his like back catalogs. So I'm very excited that they're finally releasing a lot of this stuff uh, here in Australia. This one came out, I think, last year, maybe mid last year, and I've only got around to picking this up. Shock brought this one out, Shock Entertainment, another in, uh, 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 independent distributor. So I was very happy to get that one in the sale. It's been one that's been on my radar for a while. Picked that one up with uh, Colette, uh, Kira Knightley film. I don't know too much about this. No, it's based on a true story, kind of like a historical drama, kind of a costume drama thing. So interested in taking a look at that one there. Also picked up another like historical costume drama kind of thing, Mary Queen of Scots. Been 
dying to see this for so long. Again, it's one that I just kind of didn't get a chance to see at the cinemas because I ran out of time. I've been putting, getting this one off for a while because I wanted to get the 4K. Didn't come out here in Australia, didn't come out in UK. The only place to get it is in America. And I thought I would rather just pay like, you know, $8 to get the Blu-ray than to spend $30 or $35, whatever it's going to cost me to import the 4K just for the sake of like what's probably just going to be like a minor uptick on a movie like this. But I can't wait to see this. I, I love Saoirse Ronan, I love Margot Robbie, and I think it's going to be fantastic. And I'm, I'm really I'm really interested in that kind of period of, of uh, European, UK history. I think that'll be very interesting. And uh, we picked up this one as well. It's called Five, Pe Five Feet Apart, Hayley Lou Richardson and Cole Sprouse. Don't really know too much about this. This is another one of those like teen movies about the the dying girl or the dying kids or whatever there's been so many of these come out since uh, a fault in your stars or whatever it was called fault in the fault in the whatever it was called um but there's so many of these but i've, I've enjoyed most of them that i've seen so far so we uh, we got that one as well these two right here we got at the 13 dollar range so we paid like six bucks fifty a film this one here hollow man starring kevin bacon and elizabeth shoe and josh brolin this one's been out on blu-ray for Probably about a year or so now. This is another one from uh, Shock, from their Cinema Cult range. Apparently it's not great, but it's one of those movies that's so bad that, that it is great. Um, so I'm looking forward to seeing this. It's like a little bit of a spin on the Invisible Man thing. Um, I've seen bits and pieces of it. It looks terrible, but I'm excited to see it. And for like six bucks fifty, who, how, how could you go wrong, really? And this one here, Ordinary People. I'm so excited. This one has finally been released on Blu-ray. First time anywhere in the world. It's just come out this past week. I believe they only just released it. Another Shock release as well. So I was happy to get this for a really good price straight away. This is an Academy Award winning film. I'm not too sure what year uh, it was. 1980. This was released at one of the 1980 Best Picture Academy Award. So finally this is one more uh, Best Picture film that I can add to the collection. I'm really looking forward to seeing that. And two more Blu-rays from JB Hi-Fi. These were both 20 bucks each and I think this is probably the best deal that we got out of the whole thing. We got two uh, multi-film collections. We start with Scream, the full film collection. So it's got Scream 1, 2, 3, and 4. Um, I think I've seen the first Scream. I don't really remember too much about it, but I vaguely remember enjoying it. Not a huge fan of slasher gore films. I watched the um, I Know What You Did Last Summer films over this past week. I actually really enjoyed them. So I think I can at least stomach like a mild, like 90s nostalgic kind of gore, horror kind of thing. So I wanted to pick up the Scream film. So I got four movies in there for 20 bucks um, or for essentially 10 bucks for that box set right there. And also picked up the Final Destination five film collection. Uh, so for 10 bucks, got five movies there. Uh, it's got what? Um, uh, Final Destination one, two, three, four, and five. This is probably going to be a bit harder than the Scream movies, I understand that. These are an R rated, these are only an MA. Um, and I feel like this is more of like a kind of tongue in cheek than this. But everyone I spoke to said it's really fun, you've got to at least check them out. Um, just people getting killed in crazy ways I think. I don't know, we'll check them out, see how they are. But yeah, between those two there, what, nine films for 20 bucks? Broke down to like $2.22 a film. You can't go past that. So we got those two right there. So lastly, let's get into all the 4Ks from JB Hi-Fi. First up, I'll go for this one right here. This was the $25 one that I matched with uh, Parasite. This is The Shining, one of my favorite movies of all time. So I'm so excited to get this one in 4K. I've got this, I've got Doctor Sleep, so I can have like a little Shining Doctor Sleep marathon in 4K. Very, very excited about this. These two right here were at the $40 range. So we paired these two up together and essentially got them for 20 bucks each. It's probably the most, well, it is actually the most that we spent on any titles in this whole lot right here. But they're like brand new release, only been out for a few months and we're happy to pay that much for them. First up is Jojo Rabbit. This was a JB Hi-Fi exclusive, the 4K version. Watched this the other night, absolutely loved it. That was fantastic. Taika Waititi is my favorite filmmaker at the moment. I just love his stuff. I love almost, I love everything that he has done. And this movie was just, it's just a beautiful film. A really great satire and just a film with a really great heart. And that's the kind of movie that I love. This is, this is probably gonna go on to be one of my favorite movies. I love it. And uh, we picked that one up with Ford v Ferrari right there, which uh, I haven't seen either. I sent old mate Rick along to see the screening of this. Actually, I sent him to see the screening of Jojo Rabbit last year as well. Um, and he loved both of them. And I'm dying to see this. I can't wait to see it. I reckon it's gonna be really, really cool. Um, so got that. Actually, this one is $25 on Amazon. Only just yesterday after we 
after we bought these, um, they dropped this one down to 25 bucks. So you can get an even better saving on that than, than we did. But that's okay, we're happy to get that with JoJo because there's no other like uh, $40 4K to, to match up with that one anyway. So we got the, both of them for, uh, for 20 bucks each. I think that's a good price. All right, we got two more massive handfuls. I'm gonna whiz through these really quickly because they're all related to one another. Uh, these ones here were at, at the $27 price range, so essentially like 13 bucks 50 or something like that. And that was a good price for me to finally jump on these. These are all of the uh, Disney and Pixar um, catalog releases that they brought out recently, just reshuffling their, them there a little bit. So we're gonna take a look through these. We picked up Beauty and the Beast in 4K. Now I usually buy my animated titles from overseas with slip covers. I don't really care too much about that now, especially when I can get these so cheap, uh, like $13 a title, whereas if I were to import these from America, they'd be costing me like $40 each. Um, and Disney doesn't send out uh, media review copies for catalog titles, so I've gone, I'm happily to go and buy these. I've got Beauty and the Beast. This is the, the essentially the signature collection, but the 4K edition. I have the signature collection, the Blu-ray, in a slipcover. I'm just gonna take the 4K disc out of this and put that in that old case. And at least I have the 4K in a slipcover, and I'll, it will just, uh, it'll uh, omit the need to have any more titles on the shelf. It makes a little bit more space. So Beauty and the Beast, the uh, the animated version. Also got Beauty and the Beast, the live action version. Again, I have a couple of copies of this on Blu-ray. Um, so I'm just gonna take the 4K out of that and put it into the into the other set with the slip cover. It'll look really nice. Jungle Book, same deal right there. I've got the, I've got the old Blu-ray. I've got the slip cover. I'm just gonna slip it into the old set. And these ones right here, I'm not gonna worry too much. I'm not gonna worry. I'm not gonna worry too too much about the slip covers on these ones because I've just been picking up all the Pixar back catalogue editions in Australia. Again, I would rather spend like 12 or $13 a title than import them all at 40 bucks each. I'm saving literally hundreds of dollars doing it that way. I've got all these movies in my collection up here, all in slip covers in 3D editions and whatever else. I just, at this point in my collection, I don't care. I'm essentially just upgrading the discs. I, I don't care about the cosmetics at the moment because it's just it would just cost far too much. So uh, we picked up this is the last batch of uh, Pixar 4Ks that are out. Uh, well, actually, this completes the Pixar back catalog collection. Wall E up. One of my favourites. I don't really like the cover on this. They should have put Carl on there, the old man on there. Monsters University and, of course, the original one, Monsters Inc. right there. And, of course, one of my favourites of all time, A Bug's Life. Fantastic film. All right, we've got one final little stack here, or large stack here. Um, we're gonna go through these really quickly. Again, they're all related. Um, I was kind of on and off about whether I was gonna pick these ones up or not, um, or whether I was kind of weighed up my options, whether to buy them all. These were $30 each, so they came to 15 bucks each in the sale. Um, so it was either spend 150 on the on the individuals or buy the box set for 400 or import them all for 40 bucks each. I didn't want to do that just for the sake of getting slip covers again, but at that, if anyone does have the slip covers of these and doesn't want them, I know that's very unlikely, you can send them over to me if, if you'd like, please. All right, let's just look at them. You guys know what I'm talking about. They are, of course, the Star Wars films on 4K. We got the whole lot of them right here. If you look at that, the spines match up really, really nice. I think they look beautiful. I think they look even better in slip covers, but again, I wasn't, I wasn't paying like 40 bucks each, spending hundreds of dollars just to get these all in the collection in slip covers. I was happy to pick them up like this. So let's go through them all individually. We've got Star Wars, The Phantom Menace. We've got, I'm gonna lose them all there. We've got Star Wars, Attack of the Clones, right there. We have got Star Wars, Revenge of the Sith, A New Hope. The Empire Strikes Back, I love the artwork. I really do like the artwork on these, and I really like actually owning them individually. This is the first time on Blu-ray or 4K you've actually been able to own them individually in these like Amaray cases. Uh, Return of the Jedi, The Force Awakens, which I'm excited to check out in 4K. Uh, the Last Jedi, now I do have The Last Jedi on 4K, but one of the really great things about these discs is that they're actually bundling onto the disc the special features that were only digital exclusive in the first run prints of the movies. So I was happy to go back and pick this up. There's some really nice features in there. I'm particularly looking forward to, there's like an isolated score and, and I think sound effects track on there, which I really, really can't wait to, to have a look at. Uh, that'd be really good to kind of study. And uh, we got Rogue One, which I'm dying to see in 4K, apparently looks amazing. And Solo, a Star Wars story. Now Solo, I think, um, again, it's got a couple of features that were uh, digital only, originally they're now on the disc, so I now own them. It's only like maybe seven or eight minutes worth of stuff, probably not worth buying it all over again. But when I've got all of the other ones, I kind of feel like I need the whole set. I kind of feel like I can't just not have one of them. That said, I really have a feeling 
that The Rise of Skywalker is probably not going to come out in this packaging. Uh, that's what Disney does, isn't it? They release like a whole set of things and there's just one or two movies that aren't in that one packaging. But whatever, I don't care. I've got them all now in my collection. I'm very, very happy to get them. So look, again, massive haul of stuff. Again, we got like 50 something movies worth here. We sp spent a lot of money, but again, we, we saved a lot of money. Uh, what is essentially probably like a thousand, fifteen hundred dollars worth of movies here at full price. We probably we spent less than half of that on this, far less than half of that on this. Um, between the two of us, uh, we picked up some really great deals. We got movies. We finally got really good movies to watch. We've been kind of going through the drag. It happened. You do this massive haul. You get all the big, all the big good movies that you've been dying to see for like six months, and you you just smash through them really quickly, and then you're left with the dregs for about six months. Stuff that's been sitting in the collection for like two or three years that you're finally just getting around to watching. It's a great deal guys if you have I, I don't know but I don't know when I'm gonna get this video up I don't know if you have time to take part in it or whatever But at least look at this for the next JB Hi-Fi sale take these tips on board and um, Again, they do these annually, but they do do big sales throughout the year Which is like two for 30 two for 20 three for 40 and then when you get the 20% off of the 30% off on top of that You get really good deals probably essentially at the same price as this But we just took it as an advantage to get a lot of like decent new movies into the collection that we really want to watch and get them cheaper sooner and there's a bunch of again back catalog stuff that I wanted to get in my collection at a reasonably cheap price as soon as possible as well and then you get on with the next. Okay guys look I want to know down in the comments below did you take part in the JB Hi-Fi or the Amazon buy one get one free sale? I want to know what, how did you haul up? What savings did you get? What movies did you pick up? I want to know just far away down in the comments below. If you didn't take part in this I, I'd also like you to let me know what, what Blu-ray deals you picked up in the past week or the past couple of weeks. I'm always happy to hear about that. So once again guys Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Till then, take it easy. If this is your first time viewing one of my videos and you'd like to see more like it in the future, then please don't forget to hit that big old subscribe button up on your screen, as well as that like button down below for that little extra support. Also, don't forget to check me out on social media and please consider supporting me over on Patreon. Thanks for watching and have a fantastic day.